Hey everyone, John Wertheim here. It is this week's Sports Illustrated slash Tennis Channel Tennis Podcast. Our guest is WTA Tour CEO Steve Simon. Steve took over the position three years ago and uh, is still going strong. He- Serena Williams shut shut things down after the U.S. Open, um, which which isn't a big surprise, and she's done in the past. But I, you know, H- Holop is injured, Madison Keys injured, Sloane Stevens more or less shutting it down. Ostapenko complained she's exhausted. The results come across uh, my, my screen, and there's always an RET um, w- with an injury. What are we going to do about the physical and mental demands that the calendar is playing? This isn't unique to women's tennis, obviously, but what what are we going to do about this calendar here? Well, I think that it's uh, it, it's not anything new. Um, it is a long calendar for sure, and I don't know too many sports where you don't begin to see that in any sport as you get towards the end of the season. Um, uh, in fact, we probably last a little bit longer than that physical sport that we follow here called football. Um, but um, there's no question it's a, it's a long year. I think the exciting thing for us is that um, with the depth of our product, we've got a, a very exciting um, end of the year coming leading into our finals where we still have, with two weeks to go, three spots available and five players fighting for it, um, which are all exciting stories in themselves. And I think that one thing that we as a sport, and I've been on record saying about this, we need to do is we need to look at um, our format um, long term. Uh, We need to protect the integrity of competition. But I do think that that asking these athletes over a 44 a week period of time to be playing three-hour matches day in and day out with no rest in between is going to take a toll on their bodies. You, you mean mat, match love, format you're talking? Pardon me? You're, you're talking match format. You're, you're talking the, yeah, the format yeah. of the competition exactly. itself. How, how, yeah, how far exactly. are you willing to go there? Well, I think that there are ways that what we have to focus on is how do we uh, get our matches where they become 90 minutes um, to two-hour matches versus these three hours because I think, one, it will work better for our broadcast windows, but also, more importantly, as physical as the tennis is today and as le- athletic and powerful as it's become, um, if we can get our athletes off of the court in a shorter period of time, I believe they will still they will stay healthier and they actually may play more, which is great because the more on the court, the more that they're on the court, obviously the better the ratings and the better um, the product is for our fans. Four game sets. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, how you know when you when you think about what this looks like, what do you what do you envision? Well, I think you could look at you know there's been the tests of the of the fast four format, which is mm-hmm. the four game uh, format that you've reflected. Um, in the doubles, we already have a format where you play a tiebreaker for the third set, and I believe that format was used for the recently um, uh, held Labor Cup event, which is at a pretty high level. Um, so, I mean, we have that as well. Um, you know, do you go to no ad scoring? Do you play tiebreakers at five all or in six, you know, versus six all? I think there's a number of things that you can you can look at to do it, but I think. We as a sport, as all sports, have to look at the duration of our of our matches because I do think that the consumption uh, capacity or or rate of our fans is going to continue to diminish. Um, they don't sit in one place for three hours anymore. They like it in smaller nuggets, and I think we have to react to that as well as deal with the health of our athletes. 